Um, I'm a new hire this year. I started mid-year due to a severe need. Um, I am here to speak about the lack of uniform um, policy-driven discipline and behavior. Um, I cannot tell you how frustrating it is to look out at my students knowing that I'm failing three quarters of them because of the discipline of a quarter. It's absolutely ridiculous. What we are practicing in this district is setting our students up for a life of failure. We are not serving them. We are not serving our community. We are not benefiting anybody. You are losing phenomenal qualified teachers because we cannot write down a set of accountability issues that is held to a standard that meets what we want them to do when they graduate. We want them to have academics, excellence in academics. How about academics and self-control, self-management, becoming productive members of society? Because it doesn't matter how relevant and engaging my curriculum is, it doesn't matter if I follow the GRR and every single initiative that these magical directors of magical transformation come up with, if we cannot figure out how to get our kids to stop swearing at their faculty, stealing from their faculty, shoving each other, it doesn't matter what I do up at the front of that classroom. I am highly qualified. I hold two masters and I'm working on a terminal degree. I teach middle school and high school science teachers how to teach problem-based engaging 21st century learning skills at YSU. Speaking of YSU, they are looking to pull their student teachers from our district because of the lack of classroom management that has nothing to do with teachers qualifications or how hard we try. It is our students. They know they're not accountable. We need a written down set of guidelines with consequences for students, faculty, and parents, the community. If we do not hold our kids accountable now, it doesn't matter if we educate them because they cannot practice self-management and self-control. You are looking at an entire district of teachers. Nobody goes into teaching for the money. You just don't. I was out with a concussion for a week. They stole my stuff, destroyed my room. My district warehouse supplies finally came in because I'm a new hire. So you know what I did? I bought pencils. They chew the pencils. They throw them at me. I bought all these supplies because I'm in it for them and for the ones that actually sit there and try to learn that deserve better. But what happened was while I was out, the kids that have no self-control and know there's no consequences opened up my box of supplies and stole them. So it doesn't matter what training you put us through. It doesn't matter. We need defined consequences where the students are held accountable. They know that if they do this, this is the consequence. And their parents. And it is continuous across the district, well-defined, and absolutely, if you're going to threaten it, follow through on it. Because I, for one, am tired of thinking, Maybe if this one shoves me down today, they'll actually take them out so that I can teach the rest of them. Because here's the deal. I tell my students all the time, there's 16 of you and one of me, but here's, I'm here to educate you. The only thing I owe you is an education. That's it. And you're not going to get much better than me this year because everybody else walked out. But if I have to choose between you and 15 other students, I'm choosing the other 15. Get out of my classroom. And I sure think that I deserve the support from the district to back up that threat. Thank you.